Hey y'all, using my southern voice. N4 H and H here. Uh, well, he's getting a little bit stronger now, but I wanted you to hear this soda station I just worked. He's in Arizona. I didn't wear my headphones. I probably should have. Let me let you listen. Okay, that's not him. That's somebody working him. I'll let you know when he comes back. You heard him there at the beginning, but I'll let you know when he comes back. There he is. I gave him a 319. I mean, once in a while he would come up to maybe a 419, but QSB was really, really bad. Tried multiple antennas. There's my off-center fit dipole. Cushcraft R5 vertical. ZS6 BKW. And my 160 meter doublet, which works well on this band. DSP settings, I'll show you where I am there. Uh, got the plus 10 with the APF with 100. DNR at 15. And I am using amp 2 up on these higher frequencies like this. Sometimes that helps. Sometimes it doesn't. Let's see now, if you do that, you tend tend to have to back off on the digital noise reduction. He just doesn't have <clears throat> much signal to work with. Let me get back over on the antenna I worked him on. That's a ZS6BKW by uh, NI4L.com, NovemberIndia4Lima.com. You can build it yourself, but I got too much else going on. I just went ahead and bought his and priced it out. Just about can't build one that cheap. Seriously, it's a ghost station. I almost had to imagine <laughs> what he was sending me. And now we got some kind of digital stuff coming in there. So I'm like, let's let it. Wow, let's see what that is. Yeah. That's not cool. Okay, he just signed out. Well, hopefully you got the gist of that, uh, especially at the beginning when you could hear him, just extreme low signal. And I just gotta tell you, if I had not enabled these this DSP like I did, now granted I had amp two on, right? Digital noise reduction was at 15, had the width at 100, and I slid the APF up 10 Hertz a lot of times I like to leave that zeroed and then I'll, I'll, I would move my VFO up 10 hertz, see? Either way, um, honestly, sometimes I'll do one or the other and see which pitch comes through, you know, from the noise floor the, the best. That's really how I do that. Uh, so, but I do tend, if you've watched my other videos, you know I tend to leave it at zero and adjust it on the VFO. Uh, you know, try to somewhat zero beat them, you know, as, as it were. <laughs> That's what uh, some people people call it, you know, just try to get right on them. Because the APF just lets you slide on the receive side, and essentially what you're doing is you're looking for them based on pitch. But uh, So I went up at plus 10. Now, had I not had all that turned on, this is what it would have been like.
that's where the DSP, look at, see the S meter there. So now I'm gonna turn it all back on. Digital noise reduction, width at 100, APF. So I, he wasn't even moving the needle, but I will say, and you've watched my other videos, you know that if you, when you tighten up your uh, receiver like that, it affects the S meter reading. So when somebody needs an accurate S meter reading, I have to temporarily turn off, uh, oh, I'll show you here. The things that affect the S meter reading, APF will not affect S meter reading, digital noise reduction won't, but this width here, and even though this is an FTDX 5000, what I'm showing you applies to other radios too. The, as you get, especially if you get below 300 hertz, 250, you start getting down in this range and it's going to drop the S meter reading. Um, and that's okay. I go for signal to noise ratio, but if somebody needs an accurate signal reading, you know, I'll, I will, uh, you know, turn that off temporarily and give it to them. The other thing that can affect it is notch. And if you've watched my other videos, you know that, that I will sometimes use the notch if I'm getting a lot of that ring ripple, it's called from the filter. So you can watch my other videos and get a more detail about that, but So I'm using the manual notch there to knock some of that ringing out that is called ripple. And that's just a result of the tight uh, curve, the steep skirts, if you will, uh, of the filter. So, all right, uh, we're going to go station. <laughs> it's fun, challenging. All right, hope you found that enjoyable. Uh, 73 from N4H&H.